Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be walking through how to use the KiCad step up module to bring a KiCad drawing into FreeCAD and round tripping back to KiCad to add the to add the um, edge cuts which are, are here. So um, in KiCad it's not um, not part of the basic functionality to do you know to do an easy uh, non rectangular shape. You can use there are line tools and whatnot. But they're fairly limited in scope, and FreeCAD's uh, tools are much are much more um, versatile. So I'm going to be showing how I how to do that round trip, and then also um, I'd like to eventually create a case and uh, use this for isolation routing uh, using the FreeCAD Path Workbench, as you may have seen in a previous video of mine. Um, so with that, let's get started. So to get started, I've opened the main KiCAD window. And I'm going to click on uh, add a project here. So we're going to click on create new blank project. And I'm just going to call this tutorial because we're doing a tutorial. Let's get it so you can see it. Tutorial. Click on, and that gives us our, our, our um, schematic and our PCB. So I'm going to open the schematic. And we're going to put in the schematic um, just a couple of LEDs. So I select, select the symbol library there or the symbol tool and click let it load up our library for the first time the first time is always going to be the slowest so i'm just going to pick a generic led um okay and then we're just going to do Control d to duplicate this a bunch of time a bunch of times and i'm just going to do nine and pretend i'm doing an doing an array of leds now i'm not going to wire these up they're just going to be sort of placeholders so we can see what we're working on and that's all we're going to need to do component-wise. Let's click on save for good measure. So the next thing I need to do is I, I need to um, add uh, annotate this. So it'll change these from question marks to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So let's hit annotate, and you'll see uh, we just hit annotate, and you'll see it's changed all the LEDs. So let's close that, and let's uh, now assign a footprint. So we're going to click on the footprint icon, and it'll bring up this. Um, the footprint tool which will list all of our components in this case all the LEDs so what we'll do is we'll go down here and pick uh, through hole LEDs and we're just going to pick the generic uh, three, mil three mil millimeter LED sorry and let's click OK oops I didn't actually sign them so let me go back in and um, the dis disappointing thing is it doesn't have that uh, where you left off sort of mentality so you're going to have to go back in do this again and basically what you do is if you double click it assigns it to that first one and then moves to the next one so we're just gonna click our way through all of these I think you can also pretty sure um, you can click on one and have it assigned to all of them that same footprint but for this these few it's really not that important so now that we have a footprint and so the footprint is how the uh, component is mapped on the PCB so you have a symbol on in the schematic but you have a component on the PCB and that's a important distinction in um, in uh, in KiCad uh, so the next thing we need to do not run a footprint we need to go over and move to the print circuit board so you see it goes to print circuit board you notice what I didn't have to do is explicitly generate a netlist if you're using KiCad you might have had to have done that in the past so now I'm going to bring the uh, bring it over bring the changes from the let me get rid of this so you can see the whole thing. So I'm going to bring the changes from the schematic to the PCB. So let's click on that. And uh, I think I missed it. Let's try it again. Yeah, so it shows you what's, what it's going to be bring, bringing over. And we'll do update PCB. And it has brought those changes. So we can do close. And you'll see it, it uh, sometimes it, uh, I guess it depends on how you lay them out. So sometimes it lays them out perfectly for me, but this time it moved one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, click this one make sure I have the old thing on click M to move it and we'll stick it in place here oh I'm gonna have to uh, I'll have to also change my I think I had it at this so let's try that again M to move and that ought to do the trick so now let's draw I'm gonna move my uh, set my grid back to and you know the, the grid stuff I'm doing is not there's no specific rule here I'm just doing what's what's working for me so now I'm going to switch to an edge cut, the edge cut layer, and I do that by selecting this layer, and I'm going to select this polyline tool. So I'm going to put a um, a rectangle around this. Oops, I don't think I selected the tool. There we go. 
I'm going to put a uh, rectangle around this, and this is going to be the edge of our PCB. And, and the reason, the way KiCad knows that is uh, is that it's on the edge cut layer. So basically anything on the edge cut uh, is going to be our PCB. And it has to be one contiguous line. It can't have any breaks. Um, so, you know, we meet that qualification by using this polyline tool. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to uh, FreeCAD and we're going to import this. So our next big step, I've opened up FreeCAD and I'm going to change to the KiCAD Step Up Workbench. If you don't have that, you're going to have to install that. You can do, do it through Tools and Add-on Manager. And what I'm going to simply do is I'm going to click on the tool to import or load the KiCAD PCB board. Now, because I've used this before, before it's already pointed to that directory, but you'll have to browse to whatever your KiCAD directory is. And that's going to be different whether you're on Windows or Linux. But in my case, it's going to be here. I put it on my Dropbox to, so I don't lose things. And I'm going to pick tutorial.pcb, and you're going to see the magic right away. So let's zoom out. Uh, and you can see there we have our board, complete with color and everything. Now, uh, one thing you'll notice is there's no tracks. That's not because I didn't put any tracks, is that you actually have to do the tracks separately and the silks separately because they take a lot more to render in, in KiCad. Um, I've successfully imported tracks, but I have not successfully imported silks. Uh, the text and stuff came in, but it was in the wrong position. Um, so I have, to really I have to research that to find out what's happening. So now the round trip part of this, um, I don't have it completely worked out yet, but what you'll notice, the, the important thing, or the thing I found um, that is really important to have is the, the sketch. So let's take a look. So this is the sketch for the PCB edge. And what you can do is you can modify this. So let's say I wanted to change this. Um, let's just uh, get rid of that. So all you need is one contiguous edge. I'm going to get rid of these. And it doesn't, um, I don't think it enumerates them in any way. And let's change it to a circle. And oops, let's make the circle so that it's, I'm not going to make it attached. I'm going to put it right about, so it's just randomly right about there. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to close that. And that's all you need. So now what we can do is we can send that sketch back to KiCad with using the push-pull sketch tool right here. Um, you have to select the PCB. It's going to tell you that it's going to overwrite it, but what it's only overwriting is that edge. So this is going to replace the edge, and you can click OK. And then we can just uh, close out of, um, we could save this. We'll save this as, let's just call it, um, PyCAD to FreeCAD, sounds good. So I really don't need this, but, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna close this now. And so this is just the really basic, um, really basic stuff. So let's go in, back into KiCAD, and you do have to completely open, reopen your PCB. If it's already open, it won't automatically pick it up. But now when I open my PCB, we should see that it's got a circle. And so that's the edge that came from from FreeCAD, so it's that simple to work between the two. Now if I change it here and re-import into FreeCAD, it'll pick that up. And the one last thing I wanna show you is um, is the 3D view for the board. So if I go into view, 3D viewer here, it gives me a nice 3D rendering of, of whatever board you're working on. And what I'm gonna show you is, so that's uh, it's slow because I have it set to uh, preferences ray tracing. If I turn off ray tracing, It'll give me a faster render, which is actually, you know, very nice. Um, but if I do ray tracing, you'll see that it's it 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 does even better. Um, takes a little longer, and you won't be able to pan and rotate unless you have a super duper machine. Um, but once you'll see this is done and it changes the lighting, you'll see that it's a very a very nice uh, render of your board. See how it's changed the lighting now? It's got the green. It doesn't have these as trans, as translucent as I think they should be, but pretty nice. Um, would make a nice title screen too. So, well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, if you do, make sure you head over to my Patreon page and think about giving me a dollar a month or something so I can make more of these, or um, or just subscribe and like this video. That helps a lot. Um, you know, as as you share, subscribe, and like this video, it'll get more views. So have fun in KiCad and uh, make sure you use FreeCAD to, um, to to work on your models after they're done in KiCad. Oh, and I, I did want to mention the one thing I want to do eventually with Ki, uh, with FreeCAD 
is I want to use the path workbench to to do traces to cut traces uh, um, you know to a, to do an edge isolation and that'll be for another video have a great day and thanks for stopping by